Hey guys, welcome to this new video and in this video we are going to add Istio to our Kubernetes cluster and then we are also going to set up the DNS for our Kubernetes cluster and our fabric components like peers and orders and certificate authority they all are going to use the DNS records in order to communicate with each other. So I have already created a Kubernetes cluster and let me just download the kubeconfig file from here. So let me open my terminal here. Let me go to downloads and uh, set the kubeconfig. So the file is k8 demo. So if I do kubectl get nodes, I should see three nodes and this cluster got created just 15 minutes back. So now uh, let me clear up this and let me move to our project directory, which is hlfk8 demo. And here, uh, first you have to install the Istio. So in order to install the Istio, you can download the, you can get the Istio binary from the Istio website. So if you go to istio.io, here you can see one download option and through that you can download the STO. So if you go to setup and you to go to installation guide, here you have an option install STO with STO CTF and here you can download the STO binary from this page. So if you click on this, which is download the STO release, you will be moved to this page and here you can just simply copy and paste this command and it will download the Istio in your system. So I have already downloaded the Istio and like you can set up this Istio path as well uh, so that you can access the Istio from anywhere in your terminal. So I have already set up Istio in my system. Uh, I have the Istio CTL. Now let me just install the Istio in my Kubernetes cluster. So this is the command which is going to install the Istio in uh, our Kubernetes cluster. So let me hit enter. So this is going to take some time and meanwhile let's do one more thing let's go to free norm and get a free domain name for this demo so i have already created an account in the free norm here you can see you can just visit this site which is freenorm.com and uh, you can just simply log in and after that you can like let me just log in again so here if you go to register a new domain you can get a new domain from here and let me search for a new domain which is hlf blockchain you can use any domain yeah so here you can see you have couple of free options and uh, you can just you know get it and do the checkout process so i have already done this and uh, what i'll do i will just uh, make you go through the settings that uh, you need to configure here so if you go to my domains and here you can see I have already one domain, which is hlf-blockchain.tk. You have to go to manage domain. And then here you have to go to manage freenom DNS. And here we have to add the records for our load balancer. So when we install the Istio, our load balancer should also get created. Let's see that. So here, uh, if I do kubectl get services and if I do hyphen a it should give me the, all the services here so you can see we have uh, Istio ingress gateway and the services type of load balancer and the external ID is in pending state so we have to wait for a while in, in order to get the load balancer IP meanwhile let's open the lens ID and see the configurations there so this is the lens ID let me add the Kubernetes cluster here the file is let me browse the file this is the file cube config file let me add it here so if we go to network if we go to services and if i change the namespace to istio okay so this is the external ip let me just copy this ip and uh, we have to go to our dns settings and there we have to update the A record. So the first A record that I want to get create is for org1-ca. And this is going to be a type of A record. Just put the IP address here. 
and then let's add some other a records as well so this for org1 peer1 then i need for org2 peer2 then we need so okay this should be org1 peer1 then i need org2 ca then i need org2 peer1 in the same way let's add all the dns records So after this, uh, we can just click on save changes. So the records got added successfully and now uh, let's wait for these records to get updated so we can verify them. If I go here and if I do ping, let's say org1 org1 c and then the domain name was hlf blockchain.tk let's do a ping just to make sure that our uh, records got updated so this usually takes couple of minutes uh, somewhere around 10 to 15 minutes to get the records updated let's try again so now we can see that uh, our ping is working fine and uh, it is internally redirecting to the this our load balancer IP. So let me clear this. So this was pretty much it for this video. In the next video, we will be going to create the blockchain network again, but this time with these DNS records.